Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to do a flip and drag, possibly a flip, a flip, drag, and a lip. We'll just see how it how it goes. But let's go over my paints. My base coat is Master's Touch Thick Body Acrylic. And this is the first time I'm using this. And this is actually a transparent mixing white. So the colors will be allowed to uh, come through a little easier. The rest of my paints are all the golden fluid acrylics. The first one is primary yellow. And then I have the quinacridone nickel azo gold. Burnt sienna. Viridian green hue. And the last one is the mag manganese blue hue. All my paints today were mixed with seven part mix, one part paint, and then I did thin for consistency. And let me show you consistency here with this beautiful azo gold. A little bit on the thicker side than normal for me because we are going to do the flip and the drag and I I do want the colors to uh, stand up for themselves there. So I left it a little bit thicker. No silicone added today. So what I'm going to do is uh, turn the camera off. I'm going to put my base coat down. I'm going to fill three cups here, as you can see. And then I'll get you back and we will start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat of my um, Thick Body Acrylic Master's Touch down, and I filled three cups, pretty full, and I'll show you one of those cups. Just kind of poured it from down the side, and I'm just going to do my flip cup now. Do three of them. Okay. And I did have a little bit of white paint left, so I'm just going to add it here, use all my paint up. Move it around the cups here. I did vary how I layered the paints in the cups a little bit. See if that adds a little something to the painting. And I do have a little bit of blue and green paint left yet. So I'm going to use that up too. I'm just going to... Uh, just going to lay it on the painting here. And a little bit of green left. Okay, now I've used all my paints up. Okay, so let's do the drag part here. And I will do a lip. Just draw it through there. OK, 
Okay, let's do our second cup. And I will lip it through that also. Very pretty colors here. And our last cup. And I will lip it through that also. Okay. And now I think I will give it a just a quick torch. I did just mix these paints up this morning, so they have not been sitting very long. So there are air bubbles here. Okay, so let's start tipping. And I'm going to try and tip so you can see most of the action happening and if it does get out of frame I do apologize just going to go back and forth here first I'm going to turn it this way going to bring it down I think and if I have negative space that's fine over that corner okay okay now I'm going to bring it this way And just take another look at it here. Really loving the colors so far. Okay, I'm going to turn it this way. And bring it down. And because my paint's a little bit thicker, it is moving slower, which is fine. I really like to take my time with the tipping process. I'm going to try and get over to this corner now, this far corner. And just over that corner. Okay. Check my corners here. Okay, the only spot I have negative space is right here in this corner. Just taking a look at the composition here. A lot of really beautiful areas going on. This is really pretty right in here. That's what I'm liking so far. And I do like these little cells that came up there. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to tip down here. So I will turn it. And tip this way.
these colors are just really, really pretty together. And I do like using golden paints. I'm trying to tip it more down and then over. And I may try and help it a little bit here. With some paint. Just some drippings. Okay. I'll try and try that again. Okay, and now I'm going to bring it back. Just going to try and straighten that middle out just a little bit. And then take a look at the composition. Okay, really, really pretty. A lot going on here. There's really no areas that I do not like. Just really, really pretty. I'm going to clean off the bottom of my canvas now. Get, get the drippings off that I can. This is a type of pour that is really good for beginner acrylic artists. And I enjoy doing them. Okay, and I think I will do another torch here. Take one last look. And I do like these lines down the middle where I added that blue. So pretty. And you're going to be able to see the transparency of the layers with using the mix and with using the um, thick body acrylic transparent mixing color. So let me get you down for a close up. You can tell me what you think. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up, and here is the upper left-hand corner. You can just see all the different layers coming through here. So pretty. That azo gold. This is probably one of my favorite spots of the whole painting is right in here. So pretty. And down to the lower left hand corner and I will take you back up again got some interesting cell action here they look like little rocks so pretty interesting in here and this is the top again and we'll go back down I do like those white, those white spaces with that blue line like that. You can see how it got muted in there. It's almost like the green tried to take this painting over, but that azo gold said, no way. I'm sticking around. Here's another really nice area. This is the upper right hand corner and 
and then down to the right, the right bottom here, pretty in here. Okay, so let me know what you think of this video. And give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. I really appreciate you watching today. Thank you to all my watchers and my subs. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.